it is all eyes to the lights and foot to the floor as we go racing for the sprint race here in Austria in Formula 3. Kai Collette with a decent start comes across to defend from Correa into turn one. It's as they were, Colapinto sliding up the inside of Jack Crawford. They all seem to find a clean way through now. Down onto the run to the left-hand kink of turn two. Kai Collette leading a huge train of cars. Arthur Leclerc in the background having a look at his Prima teammate Oliver Behm and we nearly go three wide. Collette has to defend though out in front. Correa holding on to second. Colapinto's not giving up this battle for third. He's trying to take it away from Crawford as cars squirming all over the runoff and the sausage curve. Here comes Oliver Behrman though, fighting further back in the pack. Oh, in the mid pack as Zane Maloney tries to find a way through, down through Colapinto. But Kaya Collette is being challenged for the lead by Correa. Correa going round the outside. Can Correa hold it on? Correa coming through now. The ART, the black and white car, comes through to take the lead from Kaya Collette as the yellow flags are out in sector two. Collette's going to fight back, though, but it's Correa coming into the final part of this lap now. Started second, has managed to get ahead of Kaya Collette. Yeah, great move as we have a safety car coming out as we see one of the VAR cars stopping up at turn three. We see a bit of contact there. Ah, uh, Villa Gomez there right was uh, squeezed. He was in a sandwich with Kush Mining, and I think it might have been uh, Brad Benavidez in the Carlin as well coming together. And then, unfortunately, Villa Gomez spinning out over the sausage curb. Lucky to just miss the Carlin there, but look at that rear right, completely gone. It's a Trident triple, one, two, and three, battling out right now over fifth place. They're gonna go three wide going into turn four. Johnny Edgar's gonna be in the middle, uh, Dave Maloney in the middle. Roman Stanek now falling back, just watching on. Edgar, though, with a nose in front, but that's gonna allow Maloney the inside line coming into the left-hand sweeper. Edgar just has to fall back in line, and they're bringing the Prima car of Oliver Behrman with them as well. Fantastic battle between these Trident drivers. Correa's going slow. Correa's broken down. Correa going slowly on the start finish straight from the lead, losing positions. This is a nightmare for Juan Manuel Correa. The ART pit wall can't believe what they're seeing as Kai Collette comes through to regain the lead. Correa looks like he's going to be out of this race as he tumbles to the back of the pack. Came out the last corner and slowed down, so I wonder whether he had. Uh, mechanical failure or even a uh, issue with the curves and something breaking. Potentially, in my ear, I'm being told it might be a gearbox issue. Further back in the pack as Arthur inside. Leclerc gets it stopped on the brakes, doing battle once again with Kalen Frederick, forces Frederick out wide, takes to the grass, Frederick back on, DRS open for both of them. It's a drag race to the line. This is what Arthur Leclerc tried to do last year. That time he ended up on the grass and into the gravel. This time though, he makes it stick. Arthur Leclerc through on Kalen Frederick and now set about hunting down his Bremer teammate of Oliver Behrman for seventh as I think Stanek is going to come under pressure from Oliver Behrman. He is. Behrman late on the brakes, down the inside. That was aggressive, and that's going to bring Leclerc through to play as well. Side by side, can Leclerc get another car in two laps here? It will be two laps and two overtakes if he can make it work. Leclerc, same as he did last year. He's got to be careful, though. His teammate is right in front of him. He's good, though. Leclerc through, follows Behrman through. Stanek now losing two positions there, down to eight. Which side is Crawford going to go down? He goes to the inside. I'm not sure there's really a lot Colapinto can do as the two Premiers go side by side after Leclerc. Opportunistic three wide through the corner and they touch. Round goes Zay Maloney after touching with Behrman. Leclerc goes through. He dies at the inside. They break so late. He just about gets it stopped. Zayn manages to open the door because he sees them coming and then on the exit there's just not enough room left by the two cars on the inside who drift out into him. Up front in the run down to four, Kai Collette is coming under huge pressure here for the lead. Jack Crawford in the Prima, the Red Bull backed American is going to try and go around the outside. He can't fit his car through here. He's going to try the up and under. Can he get more drive on exit? Kai Collette comes across to squeeze him as they go through the right hand and now and approaching the left. I think they touched wheels there nearly. Collette has the inside line. He's going to push Crawford near enough to the gravel. Crawford holds on. He's going to swoop into the left hander. Can he do it cleanly? Crawford swoops round the outside and through to take the lead on lap 14 in front of Kai Collette. 
this is how Correa made the move for the lead early doors. Leclerc will try the up and under just like Crawford did a lap ago. Edgar squeezes in, coming into the left hand sweeper now. Can he do what Crawford did a lap previous, following his teammate through? Leclerc sweeps round the outside of Edgar, but he keeps his foot in. They play nicely. Leclerc nearly dips a wheel onto the gravel, but Leclerc now nearly a wing in front. He's going to have the inside line coming into turn nine, and the writing might well be on the wall for Johnny Edgar, who loses that position to Leclerc. Edgar, though, forced to defend as Martins goes right round the outside. They almost touch there, and that allows Oliver Behrman to get a run on him. Side by side they go. Behrman with more momentum, but Martins with the inside line. Edgar's right there as well. Behrman squeezes him. Martins has to bail out of that one. Behrman through on Martins. It'll be Jack Crawford, though, who will come round the final corner and will take the chequered flag to win his first race in Formula 3 in 2022. He's got his markers off the board and he takes the win here in Austria, ahead of Colette and Franco Colapinto. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, mate. Well done. Yeah. yeah! It took a long time for that one, but we got it. This was the most stressful five months of my life. It was, of course, Jack Crawford ahead of Kai Collette and Franco Colapinto rounds out the rostrum in third. Leclerc, though, perhaps with a bold move on his teammate. There might be words afterwards. He'll finish in fourth for the time being. Stanek rounds out the top five. Then it's Frederick, Edgar, Martins, Smolia, and Isaac Hadjar steals the final points in tenth. Do join us tomorrow when Formula 3 action gets back underway. You don't want to miss it. 8.35 local time. See you then. Bye-bye.